Hello. And welcome to Undertale Yellow. I don't know if you, who is watching right now, saw me playing through the whole game. But if you don't, well, I've played through the whole game. I did all the pacifists and I did the genocide. So yeah, I finished the game and well, I did a research. Is there anything more relevant to show of Undertale Yellow? And apparently this game has four endings. That is one ending on genocide. That is one ending on the neutral route, which is the aim of, of this video. And two endings on the pacifist route. If I were to show what happens at the other ending of the pacifist, I would have to replay the whole game again. And in order to show what happens at the neutral ending, I have to replay the whole game again. So I don't want to play the whole game again twice. So yeah, I would have to replay the whole pacifist. I'm not in the mood. Go play by yourself. The game is free. Go see someone who actually did it. It's fine. I can't control your hand. Go get spoiled. What I'm actually going to do in this video, it is not going to be a full playthrough. I'm not going to show the game from beginning to end, every single thing that happens here and there. I am going to be using a guide in order to find the treasure, in order to find differences, but there is going to be the whole game of Undertale Yellow from beginning to end, and just the different stuff that actually happens on the neutral route of the game. So this video may actually be the longest that I have made so far of Undertale Yellow. This video may actually come later than I'm planning to upload this thing on YouTube. And it is going to be the only video related to the neutral route. And yeah, that's about it. Let's reset and restart. All right, I'm moving. Okay. Now, one thing that I forgot to say, uh, in order to do the neutral run, you have to kill some monsters. Depending on the number of monsters you kill, apparently changes how the game reacts to you. Like some characters here and there. For me to show all those reactions, like, it would be just playing the game over and over and over and over and over. And I'm gonna play something else at some point. So, ideally, I'm going to be killing one of each copy of monster that I find. And I forgot how to do this puzzle, but here we go. <laughs> you break a coin in half and abandon which half to throw in before tossing one at random. They are both worthless anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I left half a coin for the lemonade. What a jackass. Hey, it's corn. I missed. There isn't anything different with Decibet's fight. I'm just putting here because... I like Decibet. Decibet is so cute. Look at Decibet. Look at him! Look at that face! Now let's see. You notice a dark path beyond the rocks, but you can squeeze past them. According to the guides, the secret room on the ruins is past there. The guide. I'm using a wiki. Um, oh, right, that's all. So let's see. There should be one around here, maybe? There it is. There are how many? Interacting with the number shape holes in the wall that go from 1 to 5 as the player backtracks. So the first one is here. I didn't notice this while I was playing Pacifist. But I didn't know what they did. I just clicked on them and they went there. Very, very low. In a very low voice. I didn't know what they are, so I just ignored. The second one is... what is it? Here. The third one, there it is. 
That is the third one. The fourth one. Oh, there it is. And the fifth one. Where is the fifth one? The fifth one should be right there. Look at that. You hear movement in the distance. An intimidating presence fills the ruins. Okay. So now I go back to the cave. And the rock should have moved. Then we go through the passage. There we go. And by the end of this path, you hear movement in the distance. Hmm. It's still coming. What is it? Oh, it's a dot. You notice micro frog, it's attacking you. It's a tiny ass frog. It. Okay, stomp. No. Uh, check. Micro frog, it's attack 3 defense 2, often falls through the cracks. Micro ribbit. Oh, oh god. What is all this? Um, compliments? Micro frog, it doesn't seem convinced. You may have been looking in the wrong direction. Happy croak. If this is oh the whole fight, I'm I'm fine. You can't tell how micro frog is reacting. You think it look it's look it looks flattered. Happy croak. It does. Oh, he does. Oh. Yep. Okay. Fight is over. Another one. The micro frogs are waving goodbye. Oh, goodbye. A beautiful, delicious-looking golden pear catches her eye. Take it. You got a golden pear. Oh, are you hiding from Dove too? Who is this? There isn't much room for you, but you're welcome to join me. There isn't much room, but you're welcome to join me. I know lots of games to kill the time. It's a dust bunny. Oh, how about we play count the dust? We see who can count the most dust before getting bored. Ready? Go! 33, 34, 35, 78, 79. Achoo! Oh dear, I lost count. I guess you win then. Is it dust in here or is it just me? No, well, I, I did a few things. I'm level 2. You... You look so helpless. Different. What is it up front? No. You aren't trying to hurt me. You... Hello, cell phone. You aren't who I believe you to be, are you? How could I be so foolish? I apologize. I truly do. This got out of hands. I... I don't know how it makes things right now. Last time I checked... Friends didn't do that. I'm sorry, Dolph. It's for the content. I'm sorry, Dolph. I actually like you. Looks like my assumption was correct. This was all an act to finish me off. I should have kept my guard up, but... I guess in the back of my mind I was hoping... Wishing that finally... Someone came along to pull me out of my sorrow. But... Happiness has always been wishful thinking down here. I would have been a good friend. I know. I would have. You won! Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, Dove. So... Why did I need to kill Dove? Because the only big difference... Can I get the cake? Is a mini fridge. It's mostly... No, I can get the cake. I can only get the cake when Dove gives it to me. The biggest difference... Is that I can play the organ, I think. 
the musical kinds. Right? No? Um, it's a chair, the non musical kind. There is a book of neatly written paragraphs on the desk. They all appear to be very similar. Read one. Oh, there we go. Dove is alone and living in the ruins of home. He enjoys quiet walks in the dark, cleaning and improving songs on his organ. He wants to share with the, the youth of the underground. The importance of being accepting and respecting the wishes of others. The rest of the page is scribbled out. A final chest. Open it. Ah, this is different as well. Wow, it's lined up with high quality satin. Satin. Looks pretty old. Maybe it's a gramophone. A record labeled Dove Organ Demo is quit up to play. Play it? Oh, it's pretty bad. I get why he's trying to play, but it, it sucks, man. The record must be damaged. Stop this wretched music. You turn off the gramophone. Maybe it's a work in progress. Well, it was. Howdy. Were you expecting that? I'm a little more helpful than you have thought. Anything you can do by yourself is my job. Anyway, great job getting through there. Boy, am I glad to be on your side. Get ready because you have a long journey ahead. This is gonna be so much fun. I'll see you on the other side, pal. Okay, so this is it for the ruins. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if there is a way to save. And then I'm gonna show the new thing that I found by scrolling down the wiki page. Because for some reason this is on the trivia and not on the the walkthrough part itself. My child! Are you alright? Oh dear. I'm afraid I cannot reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will stay there, will you not? Do not wonder. Many monsters are unfriendly towards humans. Fret not, my child. I will protect you. Please. Wait there. Oh, the tail. Yellow. Again. The very beginning, once more. Why, though? Well, because we're going to wait. Apparently, if you wait here for about five minutes, something will happen. So, yeah. Time skip. Oh, it happened. Uh, so I was playing um, Pokemon Go. Uh, let me get back in position. <laughs> Took so long. Hello. Are you still present, little one? I'm going to rescue you. Come. It took about five minutes. Nope, I have to use the rope. Climb the rope. Climbing the rope. Sorry if the audio sounds weird, my door is open. For years, monsters have been sealed away by a powerful spell. Undertale. Yellow. Howdy. Congratulations on being, on, get, on being rid of those old ruins for good. You couldn't even go back if you wanted to now. Isn't it thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. You won't be anywhere near your fancy service air for a while. Now, let's get moving before my battles freeze. Up to it, bud. Actually, what was your name again? It isn't bud. It's Gun Hat? Uh, that's right. It is? Well, Gun Hat, enough talk. See ya. You're just gonna call me Gun Hat for the rest of the game. Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? You are really scary for ya? Come on, you can do it. I don't even need to save. 
It's just no ice monsters and possible risk of frostbite. Nothing to it, pal. Now get out there. Okay, so while I do Martel's puzzle, there isn't. Oh, this over here. There isn't a lot of differences between what happens on the past phase and the genocide and on the neutral. Maximum is how you behave with martlets and what kind of fights you choose. So I guess for Snowden, all I, oh, all I can show is like the treasure. There is one item that I missed, aside from the uh, golden treasure. And one room that depends on luck. To see if I can show it or not. I'm gonna see if I can show the room. If not, I... Well, I talk about it. So apparently, the thing that shows up, the character... There is two characters that can show up. When you leave this room here, this is where you get the ice pellets. And apparently, I thought they were like, oh, if I just leave, go in and go out the room, there is a chance that I'll get transported there. But no, this game also has fun values. Similar to how Undertale, the original Undertale works. Also, there is a thing with a pillar on the ruins that also changed based on, on your fun values. And, well, I am only learned this about this now, so um, I'm not covering the pillars. But if I change the fun value right, there it is. This is Wanda. She is a secret character that only shows up when your fun value is right. Wanda, Wanda. Hmm. Ah, hi. Are you here to bring me home? Did Mikey send you? Ah, uh ah. -huh. Doesn't matter because I won't go. This is just like Mikey. Instead of talking face to face, he says a little weird guy to stare at me. <laughs> oh my god. Stop for calling me weird. I tend to bully small children when I get in moody. Might be. Mikey never paid any attention to me, you know. I wanted to teach him a big old lesson. So I'm playing hard to get by wandering into the woods and maybe dying? I think he cared a lot if that happened. Standing out here is just freaking climate starts to get to you. Starts to make a question things. Like, who's Mikey? I never met a Mikey in my life. But it'd be funny if I did too. If I did though. I like be his girlfriend and like ignore me and like wander into the woods. I'm so lost, hee <laughs> hee. Whoopsie. You think there's a search squad looking for me? Nah. Oh my god, that would make me feel so special. What if they set out a helicopter? Ah, you probably don't know what a helicopter is. It's okay. I won't bore you without forbidden knowledge. This is the ninth time you talk to me. Fun. I think you made fast friends, don't you? Wait, how fast can you run? Because I'm a speed demon. Ah, uh, you know what? I race you, but I kind of stopped believing in myself recently. Fun one fact. They don't let me in most restaurants anymore. Oh shoot. Did I just name drop? Oh my god, they so like me. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a wonder signal. Gasp. I only have one more thing I can say to you after this. No. Well, better make it count. One. Two. Three, four, rat. No one ever told me that comes after four. Let me start over. Okay. That is wonder. Oh, oh, I start from here. Let me show the other character. Okay, and the other character is this one. Can I see you sideways? Whoa. Finally, another monster. They lost as well. Seems to be happening more and more. Jane is the name. I'm on a case. Oh, Jane Doe. A few days ago, a resident went missing in these woods. Not the first time either. Throughout history, a few strange stories have popped up. Doors are being out of nowhere. Possible geography. Monsters straying from a set path and losing their sense of direction. 
Wild stuff. I'm the type that needs hard evidence to believe something. But that doesn't mean it didn't pique my curiosity. So when I heard about this missing monster, I had to investigate. It wasn't a few minutes before my compass stopped working and... Well, I became a believer. Huh. What to do, what to do. There's gotta be something or someone behind all this, no? Even though Monster Khan has lived in the underground for decades, there is still so much mystery to it all. Hmm. I know what you're thinking, and it was my first hypothesis as well. It's just magic, right? The underground is full of the stuff. Well, obviously it's gotta be. But I don't know. Some of these sightings is intentional. I've got to solve this as soon as I'm out of the woods. Don't worry about sticking around if you got places to be, I'll be fine. Still have plenty of snacks in my bag. When it's time to go, I just start walking in one direction. Should I make my way out, easy peasy. We do wanna find who I'm looking for first though. Sorry, I'm only over the case. Deep in thought. Yep. Not losing it. Not yet. Sorry, I'm only okay. Now she's just repeating. But that was Jane Doe. The other character that I was supposed to find. And now I continue with the game. Okay, the secret spa. Oh, I just found it. I was gonna say, oh, the secret spa should be around here. There it is. How quaint. Several micro froggets are enjoying themselves at their very own hot spring. One of them even brought micro floaties. Another sips in micro coffee and waves at you. Looks like the Honey Deer Resort starts of everyone. Heck yeah. A beautiful, delicious looking golden coffee catches your eye. Take it. No, no, oh god dang it. Okay, now let's see. Slurpee's quest. We begin going to the store and buy one Honeydew coffee. Okay, goodbye. Then we go to this very first NPC right here. We take out the cup of coffee. For me, how can I ever thank you? Here, I found this in the snow. It was probably out here for ages. You got a soggy mitten. Okay, I got a mitten. Let me... Oh, hold on. The coffee is a little hot. I'm going to let it cool down. I'm not crazy, you know. In the meantime, I got to make it a campfire so I don't freeze. And my dogs are here. I'm gonna save and continue this later. Then, second step of the quest. We take out the soggy mitten. That's my missing mitten. Mitten. Just in time too. My left hand was getting so jealous. I just can't leave without much civil unrest. I should really pay you back. But I don't think I have anything worth as much as my mitten. I know, take this. It's a map of Snowden. You got a Snowden map. It is drawing in crayon. Now it's good enough. Here they are. We take out the map. A map? Splendid! Did you make this just for us? I wish I had something as heartfelt to give in return. Would you like some extra matches? I've been holding on to them in case we needed a fire. We don't need one anymore. Our love will keep us warm. Sorry, that's a little cliche, isn't it? Well, I wish you the best. Don't use all those matches in one place. Receive some matches. And now we take these matches and bring them to the very first NPC we talk to to begin this, this thing. There they are. We take out the matches. Are those matches? Can I have them? You're a lifesaver. I really need help with this fire. I, uh, I don't really have anything else to give you. Here, take your coffee back, I guess. It got cold while I was working anyway. Got a cup of lukewarm coffee. Lukewarm. And we used... And finally... Hey, you! Can I help? Can I help me in the door? Been here for two hours now. The boss came up and found me and grabbed me to make it. This will be called the web, I'm all stuck. But I'll be throwing me back in the one soul. Please help. He brought the warm coffee into the bowl. Why is he saying that? Alas, I'm, liber oh, I'm liberated. I cannot take you enough. You're a wonderful Samaritan. Here, a token of my gratitude. I got a silver scarf. Knitted by my auntie with abundant passion. May you warm your skin and your soul, good fellow. 
Now I must get home post haste. Mother is bound to be perturbated already. Perturbed already. Farewell. I can go after him. Silver scarf, armor 6, a glistening scarf, woven with love and care. Restores 2 HP after every turn. Ooh, auto heal. Okay, I, I'm martyred right now. Just skip our dialogue because it doesn't matter. I think... It isn't a big difference. I, I think the only thing that changes, according to the guide at least, is if uh, if you spare Martlet, you get her to ride with you on the path from Heartlands to uh, to the Dunes. And if you actually defeat her by depleting her HP, you just go alone on the boat. That is the biggest difference. What happens if I attack her? Hold on. Good. Now for Protocol 2. Attack back. It is time to show you the true strength of a real guard. Yeah, I think this is the pacifist fight. Just... Yeah, it's the pacifist fight. Oh, how did I get hit? Ow, that kind of hurt. I'm sorry, it's just see my guidebook. Didn't really say being attacked will hurt this much. I guess it makes sense, but still. Ow. Does it hurt this much when I attack you? Cause I'm scared I'm gonna break a wing here. I don't want you to feel like this. I wouldn't want anyone to feel like this. For the royal guard I guess. Like the the pacifist fight is so easy compared to the gen like the genocide fight is fun, but Ow! But compared to the genocide, the pacifist is like the feathers don't explode. There's not like a billion things in your face. Again, I think the geno genocide fights of Bartlett is the most balanced of the ones you get. It's a fun fight, it's a fun, difficult fight. Okay, okay, ow, this cannot be right. I mean, ow, I'm gonna be all black and blue tomorrow. It hurts you too, right? Like, it's impressive, I don't show it, but. Ow! And this attack is the same. I think. Now it's a little bit slower. I can see where the feathers are. Alright. Huh. Martyrs of the Underground Royal Guards is hereby retreating. I mean, there's gotta be a better way, right? I'll, uh, I'll come up with something. I'll find you again, small human. With a new and improved plan of action. Ah, oh, she just leaves. Okay. Alright. Wowie, what a day! Congrats, pal! You beat your first royal guard. Though I'm not sure how she got promoted past Feather Duster. I have to give her some credit, though. This bow looks like a ticket out of the cold. If you follow this current, you'll be leaving up in Hot Lab before you know it. Oh, there is no time to waste. See you later, Gun Hat. <laughs> I'm still Gun Hat. Okay, I've been thinking. Gun Hat can't be a real name. You can't for one pull on over off. There is a sound car coming up. Hold on. You can't pull one over old, on old Flowey. Whatever your real name is, I've decided I don't care. Just know, friends shouldn't do that to one another. I wouldn't do that to you, now would I, Clover? It's 
so he actually did know my name. I just being weird. Now, funny enough, the walkthrough doesn't say that there is anything big happening on the doors, like any big secret. I was doing but I'm gonna kill the first one. But yeah, there isn't any big secrets, any big whatever happening on. I'm faster because of the coffee beans. I didn't notice that. But yeah, there isn't any big secret, there isn't any fun value number as far as I understand. I'm gonna check it again. But I'm pretty sure the big difference only happens when you get to the... Uh, to Oasis. Oasis. Eh, Oasis. Oasis Valley. Okay, I literally just said that I'm pretty sure there is nothing that happens in Doom while you're uh, doing all this. Apparently, I was wrong. Because going down the list, if your value is, uh, what is the value again? 51, 55. If your fun value on a save on a save file, if your fun value is between 51 and 55, this door opens. There is Gerson. Say, I don't explore this neck of the caves. Pleased to meet you. You wouldn't be in the stone moving business, would you? Ah, all the kidding around. This morning I set out an expedition to find new wares for my shop. Right as I passed through the door, Daddy caved in. Closed one, huh? Sorry, universe, but it won't do me in that easily. Oh, oh. Why's a youngin' like you doing here anyway? Surely you watched the meet old Gerson, was it? To hear one of my famous stories? Surely not. Yes, I have many stories of the old days. Though at this point, they're more like legends. You see, I wish to be a hero, the hammer of justice. I go around day and night walloping on bad guys and I would net and walloping. This one time I... I... Uh, uh, I forgot all my stories. Ha ah, ah, ah. You're having a waterfall, be sure to stop by my shop. Got plenty the wares to sell you. No matter place your allowance could go. Oh, you want me to say my catchphrase as a farewell? All right then, ready? Let's justice prevail. I want to let justice be done. But I've also been here comes the hammer. What can I say? I never could decide on my catchphrase. <laughs> Careful out there, kid. Okay, that's Gerson. All right. For the sake of completionism. I already showed this on the pacifist by accident and I guess at some point I said on the genocide that I got the golden cactus. But this is the first screen of when you uh, are going through the sandstorm area. There is a guy with a plunger, a dynamite plunger, saying like, oh, I gotta detonate as well to get some treasure. It's that guy, by the way. Not enough space, but dang it. But once you finish the... Uh... I'm gonna drop this. Once you finish the mine... Yeah, once you finish the mines, the tunnel will be open. And you can go in there and get a golden cactus. And they escaped to find treasure, but I find all these fellas instead. They hopped up to me and now I guess they're buddies. Is that how that works? In any case, nice. But yeah. Oh well. Howdy! Gee, it looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. As I have on those mines, as from those mines, sounds have been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here. Hey, human! Really? Don't attack me, I can't explain why I'm here. I said I would find you again, didn't I? Well, after your encounter, I spotted you stealing Ava my raft. But I won't hold it against you. I'm sure you didn't mean to wreck her. I attacked you, you destroyed something I love, we're even, even Steven. Anyway, I followed the river and ended up here. I don't have OBS open, hold on. Am I recording? I am recording, okay. I know I came off as a murderous royal guard, but I'm honestly not. I have to follow my guidebook when dealing with humans and stuff. Oh, right, I really dislike calling you human. 
What is your actual name? It's Clover. What a unique name, I love it! So Clover, this is a big favor, but I would like to help you. I kinda let you escape in Snowden, so I'm in too deep. I'm sure you could pull my weight, I'll even let you lead. I won't leave your, si your side to ensure your safety. Please? Yes! This will be super fun! So, shall we be off? Uh, she's not. She's coming with me anyway. Whatever. At this point, I've been following uh, someone else's live stream on this game, and uh, yeah, they show some different stuff than I did, but it really doesn't change a lot. Oh, there it is. That is a new character. Uh, that big, great thing next to the uh, the broken machine. He appears when your fun value is between 65 and 69, I think. Yeah, I put it on 65, that's right. It's been a while. Yup. That's correct. No, not that I know of. Sir, what are you suggesting? Are you sure? No, I'm not arguing, it's just... Affirmative. Over and up. Please stand clear of this machine while operating. In fact, I'm gonna need you to stand clear of the whole arcade. It's best you don't question it, alright? Sir, it's me again. You have a problem. Yep. There's a kid jeopardizing the operation. Brown hat, yellow bandana. Yep. That's the one. Do I have a distraction? No, why would I? What are kids like? Video games. You don't know what I'm trying to get them away from it, right? The parents? Yeah, I think kids like their parents. What? But, sir. Affirmative. Over and out. Say, sport. How have you been lately? How's the homework coming? How are the grades? Hmm. Ah, well, you always were a boy. Is what those dashed little bullies at school would say. Ah, ah, I would never. I uh, just keep studying, I'm sure you'll be on the path to success in no time. I'm so sorry. Not again. Um, hey kiddo. Why don't you go to the playground? Yeah. Go on and get some exercise. These arcade games would only, um... Well, we only, um... You just... <laughs> I got a job to do. Um, I can't check it. Now I can check it. In here, it's the necklace, which my pockets are full. Okay. There hasn't been a lot of difference on this area compared to the pacifist run. I don't think there's gonna be. I do know uh, somewhere else that is a wanted poster, and I do know that if you. Uh, if a va fun value is on the right value, uh, that poster will change. Okay, feisty five, feisty, 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 whatever. Can I kill them? Probably not, since it is four different people. Doesn't hurt trying. I am so bad at dodging this. This comes out of nowhere. Why did I do this? Uh, oh, marbles. Oh, it's fine.
Yeah, they don't shed HP. Next up is Ace. Oh, no. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, the beans make such a big difference. The beans and the silver scarf are the best items. Okay, I actually had more noise. And I had to wait quite a bit. But I am on Stado's last turn. I like... I literally finished the fight before I could get out of the last one. It's not that difficult. Now that I went through genocide, it really isn't that difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, I had this coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. If only I wore my safety goggles. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I can't lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my parents know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be away for a while. See you around, kid. You won! Ba -da 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 -da. Hey, Clover! Have you seen Starlow? No? Didn't think so. Haven't seen him anyway since the breakup. That's the most upset he's been in quite some time. I'm worried. I'll speak to his family up ahead. Maybe they'll know something. Uh, See you later. Okay. Clover! Clover! No. Was that Seroba? I, I, I found out that some people call her Seroba. I just call her Seroba because it's more natural to me, but whatever. Was that Seroba? I wonder why she's off in such a hurry. Oh yeah, hi! Hello. So I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good. Seroba, a not acquaintance of mine, fret me. I can see that you two have already met. She knows I won't tell Asko about this, so no worries. Now that it's taken care of, the bad news. I'm about to go back to my ward, set on my ward, sadly. I know I just said I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know. This crazy detour happened. I also realized I threw my job to the winds to travel with you, but. Since the imprisonment took so much of my time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, the royal guard will grow suspicious. Plus, Ava is totaled. It was the property. I want to be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Trust me, this will help you in the long run. And I know you're tough enough to handle yourself. I'll send you a message where to meet, where to meet back up, alright? Again, I am so 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 sorry this, about this. See you later. Alright, let's see what happens. Let's backtrack a little bit and then go to Stalo's family. Hey Clover! Sorry we kinda ruined our fun. It really wasn't your fault, you were just strung along. Anyway, I feel bad about the whole thing. You need to talk to Star about it as soon as possible. Um... About that. The artist needed a little more time. I might have snuck away while they were occupied. It's what I do best. I won't blame you if you don't wanna if you wanna ditch this town. Hope you had a decent time though. You know, before everything. Okay, same thing. Star is locked. <clears throat> the cellar is locked. Hmm. Voice failed. Oh, so you can find Salo anywhere. I didn't like him at all. I was hoping he was here, hiding in his room or something. Now, I have no idea. Maybe he ran away. His empire just scrambled beneath him. Where though? The path he took only leads to the Steamworks gate. You'd think he jumped the fence. There is no way. He can't do that. There's nothing out there. Has he ever done... Has it... Oh. I'm sorry about that. Has he ever want to stick to the rules, though? He might have... He's okay. Stay calm. You haven't exhausted our options yet. I'm sure he'll return soon. He's too much of a softie at heart. Hope you're right. Um... Sorry, kid. Ain't got time to chat right now. 
my poor boy, where did you go? He was alone, were you? It's a family matter. Mm. Okay. Surrender. Surrender? Surrender. Get over your weapon and raise your hands. What? What are you doing? This isn't fair. Starlo! Stop this right now! There we go. Who have you become? Because this should as hell isn't the style I grew up with. Seroba. Now it's not a good time for this. Don't kick me while I'm down, please. I'm... I'm sorry, Star. I know this is weighing heavily on you, but listen. None of us hate you, the real you. We adore you. What we hate is this false, reckless persona you created. I have my own baggage. We all do. I don't even know if, if I have room to say this, but... Bring him back. Bring back the innocent farmer I once knew. I just wanted to be appreciated, revered by all. I was trying. Okay, it's the same thing as the on the pacifist. I'm sorry about this. He's just saying he wanted to be right by everyone. He wanted to be to bring happiness, especially for Siroba, to see if she can uh, overcome whatever is happening to Hanako. But she is Siroba's daughter, by the way. I can, oh, I can tell you for a fresh out of battles. Your skill is almost intimidating. I had a plan for us to travel together, but you don't need me. Need me. After all, I'll have a shadow on my side. Ha, huh, that's right, Missy. Now push your luck, Star. Anyway, just head, nod head nodes and you'll find a shortcut to Hotlet. I... Never mind. You okay? Me? I'm fine. I, uh, had something in Oasis Valley to attend. I gotta go. Goodbye, Clover. Ah. That was strange, but it's not your problem. You need to get a move on. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. Here. You got a deputy badge. Despite a few hiccups, the little adventure was a blast. I'll be seeing you, partner. Do the pose. Heck yeah. I'm so proud. <laughs> Golly, ain't this dandy? Everyone you met just abandoned you for their own interests. Those aren't real friends, no way. I'm here for you though, I always will be. Now, let's get out of here. I'm not too sure how to open this door. Hold on. Ah, he shoots it. Okay. That's one way of opening it. We can finally leave this wasteland behind. See you later, Clover. I thought Sarah would come and open it. Guess not. And then it closes. Oh well, you know the drill. When I see something different, I'll come back. Access Model 014, ready to guide and protect. My recording? I am. Okay. Intruder spotted, Steam Networks, Steam Works, Eastern Branch. Your crimes are as follows. Trespassing on private property. Utilizing machinery without permission. Human. How do you plead to these accusations? Um... Guilty? Really? That was easy. Your crimes will be reported to an authority. Oh, wait. That is me. Enjoy your isolation, human. Oh, I... Oh, that was... 
A fast cutscene. Oh, I got saved by Flowey. Howdy. Glad I was able to catch her in time. What is this? The third time we survived on a journey? For having the name Clover, you sure aren't lucky. I'm only kidding around, of course. I say, you're more of a machine than the bots up there. Ha! <laughs> Gosh, I hope we had straight shot to the exit, but of course not. If you met that hunk of metal again, try not to get caught. Or, you know, heals. Although, dying would save more time now that I, now that I think... Although, dying would save more time now that I think about it. I could just revive you on the spot. Now amount of gruesome deaths could stop Oak Clover. Ain't that neato. Hmm. Do I have to make a robot? There's some useless crap. Oh. I forgot the name of the robot. Matilda. Matilda? I forgot the name. Oh. I cannot believe you fell for that. I am smart, therefore I predict your escape. Now, back you go. Well, that is my cell phone. Well, I tried. Escape convict spotted. Steamworks. Office branch. Oh. Okay, this is the same thing as the pacifist trial, but that is another reason why I'm showing this part. I'm just gonna wait for uh, Axis. His name is not Axel, as I've been saying. It's actually Axis. I don't know what I've been saying, Axel. Can you catch me? Catch me. Halt. You are coming with me. Stay here. I must go back on patrol. Do not touch anything. I was expecting me, him to catch me sooner. But yeah, that over there is what I wanted to show. For those who play Delta Room, this is another fun value number, by the way. For those who play Delta Room, that is um, Ice E. He's a mascot from a pizzeria in the town Delta Room. And uh, yeah. That's it. A lot of balls. Oh, so many balls. Ow. I'm so bad at dodging these. <laughs> no. You are corner. You are corner, human. I do not want to hurt you, but you force my blood. Prepare for pain. Oh, this is a problem. Looks like you win this time. I will return to capture you soon. Do not go anywhere, please. Thank you, Flowey. Oh, I can move. Howdy. I know I usually let you handle women in traps, but... You really looked corner back there. My friend and his palette should come in handy in tight spots. Anyway, you must be totally out of breath after that. You should take it easy for a while, pal. Grab a snack, hydrate, won't bother me. Need to be in tip-top shape for what's coming. Hello, greetings, hip hip hooray. What can I do for you today? You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine, cause you know what time it is. It is mail time, mail time. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. It's 
from oh, oh from Stalo. Spell ladder number five. If you're a foxy monster looking for love, look no further than yours truly. A melee athlete with more G than I know what to do with. My IQ is so large I could shatter the barrier just by staring at it. Regrets? Well, the greatest life is that I don't own a dumbbell heavier than 150 kilograms. I could go on for eons, but enough about me. Write your number here and send this letter back if you want your gold changed. No. Um. Green is my saver and fun acquaintance. I would like to. Could I talk with my tongue out? Sure. I would like to see and photograph you for your system. It doesn't make sense, but I'm reading this muscle on God, but maybe it's part of the castle now. If it weren't for you, my puppy would really be permanent to your class to the pole. Thanks to you, I may be holding your time in time for football. I must say, my video of this has helped the time, the football rescue feed. Many thanks to your video of Slurpy. No, no, stop it. Howdy Clover, he is your favorite sheriff, not star with an important update. I did some soul searching while staring directly at the shiny stone on top of the mines. After recovering, some temporary, recovering from temporary blindness, I shamefully approached my posse. Well, I spared the gruesome details, me crying, but in the end they forgave me. So the feisty five are back, now twice as sensitive for everyone's feelings. When we returned to town, Saraba and Dinah had set up a party in the saloon, which was great. I really wish you were still there, but I suppose you deserve the freedom. Anyway, it's all good, so don't mosey around worrying about me or nothing. I do have the dynasty to occupy around 6% of someone's brain after they meet me, but I reckon it's time to let go. Happy trails! Yeah, the other... I think the shufflers are actually... Nope, I don't need to... Uh... Actually, let me do something. I wanna take a little detour, just to see... If I can find this scene happening. Uh... Oh, yeah, there it is. Deputy! Howdy. I never so delighted that you returned. Makes my parting letter a bit awkward, but hey, it's all good. Clover, you're back. Um... I appreciate you thinking of us, but... You should go. That, that's rude, for sure. Oh, it's you. What? Hey, kid. Glad you decided to come back. The last time I saw this shot, it wasn't too pretty, huh? Uh, what I'm getting at is... Saw for all those hurting things, I said. My temper gets the best of me sometimes. I'm trying to work on it. I can't talk to her. Her them. Them is a... Uh, okay. Clover, hiya! Just dropping by? Yeah. Sucks you aren't actually joining the squad. We chose my own bodies, we could steal so much... Um, I should probably stop saying the quiet part out loud, huh? What about you? Sorry, can't chit chat right now. I wanna save this reunion as much as possible, bless their hearts. Okay. And everything is still the same. Alright, back to the game. And we're here. You know, so far, all of this teamwork there has been exactly the same as in the pacifist. And, uh, exactly the same as in both the pacifist and the genocide. Except that I don't have Seroba to add flavor text to some situations. Howdy! What is all this stuff? It is isn't natural. I mean, if anyone knows flowers, it's me. Blah. Howdy. Golly, that bot sure was a handful. Not to mention a total rip -off. Flowers are, and vines are my stick. Well, I suppose it goes to show that mechanical imitations can be the real deal. I will say, that thing honestly felt more threatening than Axis. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, just for consideration. Why don't you, you know, deal 
with Axis next time you meet. I'm sure it would be easy, just a thought. So we we'll also go through the uh, the lab place. Howdy. This sure is a pickle. I'm not certain my palace would do any good on this door. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Be creative, pal. Receptionist is unresponsive. They seem to be in the middle of creating a new Steamworks ID. Finish their work? Oh god. Really? Do I do this? Oh, I can do with a mouse. Nice. Um, what could be my ID? There we go. That is me in a nutshell. Done. Hey, that's a real piece of art you made there. Well, thank you. Give it a go. Would you look at that? Worked like a charm. I might have personally commissioned you someday. Actually, I remember something. This person here. Scanning customer. Steamworks chemist. What? I'm a chemist. How can I be a service? Ah, oh, well, they're happy to see me. Every robot has a created. It is a law of the land, after all. Mine is Dr. Rutherford Oscar. Prestigious engineer, chemist, botanist, architect, doctor, dentist, archaeologist, zoologist, geologist, chef, tailor, musician, athlete, forklift operator. But he f he's a forklift operator. Mmm, a man with a pedigree, I see. Salesman, nailsman, nailsman, beekeeper, birdkeeper, veteran, veterinarian, electrician, beautician, magician, war criminal, <laughs> banker, pranker, fish tanker, and 3% shareholder in the government. Wow. I mean, workers operators say, ha huh, ha, huh. you know what I mean? And lift me up. You know what they say, Steamworks makes the dream work. This is the place to be for progress. Each profession has its own division, and I am not one for math. Ha, huh, I'm only kidding of course, all lovers are forced to love math. The factory wing is where the home appliances are created for Monster Can to enjoy. From refrigerators to washing machines, the assembly line makes it easy for monsters to take it easy. And do not forget the second floor, which specializes in smelting materials mined around the underground into the currency known as G. Is what makes the economy run as it adequately ad ad as equally as it does. From the chemistry wing to the greenhouse, there is a job for everyone. The thing works. Tomorrow means the surface. I apologize, customer. My hospitable code is preventing me from releasing any classified information on my colleagues. The we appear as individuals, as robots are quite the hive bites, all controlled by a station to the west of the current location. Axis, however, is a bit of an exception, the black sheep of the robotics project, to play lightly. Can you imagine acting outside a government fist that only gives you one purpose and do not hope for freedom? Could not be me. But if you care to know more, he loves to talk about himself, so I could ask him. Ah, snacks. My purpose. I highly suggest you purchase some. They are made with all natural ingredients subs substitutes. Natural ingredient substitutes. I like that. It is agreed natural? Yep, naturally from the factory. It just made. Here's the leftover grease. It is black like my soul. Howdy. Who knew the Steamworks were so dense? Like, where are we now? I see test tubes, microscopes, almost reminds me of, uh, I don't know, size is in my 40. Of the laboratory? Hmm. You would like some cake, but you'd rather not a lot of access. Biscuit? 
What? Phew. I got cake. Cake. Heals 30 HP. A lemon cake with cherries on top. Nice. Now here's the Zeus boy. Do you have what it takes to be among the greatest? Tell me, how does one cook his brutal spheroids? Crack. It tells us work to take the egg and crack it over a pan. Ah uh, yes, just a slight tap on the edge. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. What is the next step, hmm? Um, only master chefs know the secret of perfection. It also is work to heat the stove until the egg begins to sizzle. Oh, we turn up the heat. Oh god. Heat waves. Oh. Oh. I'm, oh, it's on fire. <laughs> what is going on? The poor egg. Smells like food. Nice. Almost there. The final zap is... Uh, season. It also is work to grab some pepper and sprinkle it on the egg. Of course. Almost all the seeds of flavor. Not on me. Oh. That's not good. No. So you know the other the egg, but what about the taste? What about the tea? I'm dead. Incroyable. Simply delicious. Compliments to the chef. Alright, that is me. Haha. -ha. For you, my instructor. You had all the great talent. Thank you for guarding my spatula. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> I, oh, whoa, oh, hold on, the sink. There's no saving the sink. Well, I tried. You notice small cracks speaking off from behind the cabinet. Move it. Hello, sir. Or madam. Oh my, you startled me. This isn't a fun value, by the way. I know my eyes aren't what they used to be, but you aren't a machine, correct? I can't believe it. Another monster in the steamworks. Thought I was the only one. I am not incredibly social, but you're welcome to rest up. What are you? Collection of knickknacks from around the steamworks. Examine the bookshelf. A title called Mysteries of the Underground catches your eye. Chapter 1 Blunko's Blunder. Located in Oasis Valley, in a modern cafe you can't miss, lies an arcade cabinet. Painted blue and coated with a thick layer of dust, it sits there out of, out of order. Few monsters recall seeing it's up and running, and that might be on purpose. On a cabinet, two logos resides Ting Y and Blunko Industries. The same two human companies that created the new Mill Love Blaster Cabinet. Legends say that it was playable for a time after it was covered from the dump. Recovered. But its contents were unpleasant upon experience. We flip the next chapter. Continue reading. Chapter 2 The Path. The underground is a vast place. Throughout it are pathways and or fences to lead monsters from place to place. But maybe, just maybe, the paths are truly there to keep you safe. In a report from 20XX, a father recalled fi finishing fishing with his son in the Snowden Forest. As the father prepared his line, his son wandered past the fence and into the forest. On the trees, sure, same thing. The father didn't notice at first, but soon began to search for the child. Before I found it felt like I was in a daze, the father continues. Recounts, just Nothing out there. You flip to the next chapter. Chapter 3 The Phantom Soul. Seven human souls are all it takes to destroy the barrier that entraps us monsters. And over time, King Asgard and the Royal Guards have ensured we reached our goal. This process has been controversial among some residents, but war is not pleasant, says the head of the Royal Guards. Typically, when a human falls into our home, they're collected within, within hours. But one time, it took years. It was a typical afternoon in Snowden. 
Suddenly, a human was spotted in the area before swiftly fleeing from waterfall. This, surprisingly, was the last time they were seen alive. Officials at the time said the disappearance most likely meant the human was hiding. However, the human soul was later inexplicably found deep in waterfall. He put the book back. Was it a blue soul? I mean, the human showed up in Snowden, following the story that was told by uh, by Seroba and Shuji, more or less. A human was spotted in Snowden, while Shujin and Kanako were just like hanging around. And the human just started attacking stuff. No, Kanako was Kanako around? No, I think just Shujin was around. And the human just was freaked out and started attacking people. And apparently he disappeared into waterfall. He ran to waterfall and disappears. I guess at this point, was it a blue soul or was it earlier? I don't know which color it is. I just know that at some point, the blue soul disappeared from the map. The dark blue soul. That is the light blue soul or the cyan soul. Cyan. Cyan. The cyan. And the dark blue. And the dark blue soul, that is the soul that appears before Clover, I think. Like on Shujin's map, every single soul has a location. But the dark blue is the only one with a question mark. It, it is on waterfall. So the dark blue soul was found in waterfall, but the human wasn't. And that is like things that happen throughout the game as well. That indicates that the dark blue soul was used in experiments here and there. This facility used to be at the epicenter for innovation back in the day. In my prime, it wa I was a chemist. A pretty good a pretty good one too. That is, until they let everyone go. Say there weren't too many cooks in the kitchen, wanted to focus in. Couldn't let my passion go so easily, so I hid away the when they locked up. Now I have the freedom to experiment whenever and however I please. Though, no one is around to witness my efforts. Personally I blame the shutdown for on the robotics project and really things. I thought I was freed of their antics until an hour or so ago. The facility powered up and they all began to roam like zombies back from the dead. I hid here in the meantime, those heaps of metal are mighty unpredictable. I'm guessing it was you, right? The one who turned the generator back on. I must thank you, it is an idea to live in the dark. Many times I have attempted the journey but the obstacles are far too numerous. No need to worry though, life has been just fine. I sat from the reverse left behind, those white plant reserves left behind, those white plants are quite edible. Couldn't run out of food if I wanted to. On your way out, feel free to use any equipment you like. While I prefer walking alone, I can deny that the science is best accomplished as a collabor collaborative effort. I'm going to wait here until the robots disappear, but I wish you luck in your travels. And the same thing, okay. Some sort of experiments involving carefully measured liquids. Science stuff. Hmm. Oh, and this when I have to make the acid. Howdy. Why do we have here? Really? Another locked door. How many unique doors are installed in this place? Talk about inconsistent. Well, I don't see a slot for your ID cards. There is plenty of science equipment lying around. Maybe you can drill through with something. Start searching. But yeah, this is the place where I have to make the acid. And I'm just gonna make the acid. That's not what I want. That's what I want. That is not what I want. Discovered over the prestigious Dr. Rutherford Oscar himself, as all he claims. Also, if I'm not on the. Oh, we're gonna waste so much time reading every single thing. But let it be known. If you drop any material that you drop in the container, since you're on the pacifist and not on genocide, you get a description. The AU means that perhaps an alternate universe, you own some. In an alternate universe, you own some about the gold. 
But yeah, but I need to make hydrochloric acid. So I need to pick up the hydrogen. Hydrogen. Accept it. The light is unlike test and most prevalent elements in universe. Is it? Oh, it must be. And chloride. Chlorine. Chlorine or chloride? Chlorine. Okay. Useful for cleaning pools of water, even hot pools on mountain tops. Put in process. Put complete. Mixing on, oh, and, and then that's the mixing mini game. Enjoy a deadly acid. Take the acid? Not on a spacot, dang it. There is space everywhere. Well done, Clover. That stuff might just melt a lot. Make sure to be extra careful handling it. Hello. I had trouble locating you after the last encounter. Worry no more, I have located you. My last plan did not work, so we'll try something new. And that's my dogs. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> I just found this highly this highly corrosive concoction. I would like to apply it on your skin. Will you be my tech subject? Sure. Correct right decision. Allow me to terminate the cork first. It is tough to open containers. When my only option is to force it out the back of my hands. I must have it. Don't shake. Oh. Shoot. Do not fret. I will retrieve another tube. Huh. How the tables turn. And there he goes. Howdy. Just when I thought Axis couldn't get any more clumsy. Glad he's gone. It is on to us yet again. The unwavering duo. We do work well as a team, don't you think? Chloe the brains and Clover the brawn. Not saying you are smart, of course. <laughs> Watching yourself pose has been a treat. <laughs> the ID. Greetings, hello, how do you do? I have a very special letter just for you. Why so sudden without a ring? Because priority mail is what I bring. Received mail. Make sure to read it before I flee. The one who sent it paid a premium free. To Clover, who's hopefully alive. Meet me on the roof of the UG apartment as soon as you can. There's something on my mind. Martlet of the Royal Guards, not in the vision. Oh. Hope my speedy service helped you out. Your GPS always delivers without a doubt. Alright. Need to talk to Martley. How was that? Didn't something just... Something just... Fell. Or moved. Right? Howdy. Looks like things are hitting up. They should be. That is, since you shut the robots down, it should be an easy stroll to the exit. But just in case, I'd like to give a little gift. From your best friend. I think it's time you try your hand at wielding the pallets. Sure, you could use rubber, silver, nails, whatever. But these are the real deal. It's fully up to you, but I just wanted to let you know. A partnership means a lot to me. Good luck, Clover. So I still got the pellets, but I lose the coffee beans. Oh.
Why did you do it to me? I did not feel another Madras rage anymore. I do not know what to do with myself. I suppose I will stare at you blankly until you do something. What if I don't? Your command acts is vigilance. I... what? The tell Axis is still frame is unwavering. <coughs> oh, his heart is filling up. Well, I mean, yeah. Thank you, I guess. The tell Axis's energy magic is the most impressive you've seen. Come on, you do not mean that. You do. You do? You do? <laughs> Whoa, hey, I feel funny. I feel good. Thank you for confirming my narcissism, human. Note, that was a quote-unquote joke. So was it a joke or not? Can I just kill you now? I can. <laughs> I can just shoot you down now. I'm not gonna though. There is a reason for that. You won! You get absolutely jacked for that. I apologize for tormenting you and calling your names. My coded protocol blinded me from something. Something called basic decency. Like hygiene, it is not easy to have no control of our emotions, you know. To be honest, when I look at you, I grow a little envious. Humans and monsters, while different, do share one thing. Individuality. You have the freedom to be unique, but choose. Bots like me are just one model among many. Though, that does not seem like such the case anymore. This thing works, I've seen better days, along with its bots. Well, I believe we can make it work. If we left this place, we could only cause issues and be shut down. But here, we do have a form of freedom. The freedom to be flawed. All that to say, I will not invite any other humans here. Someone would jump them. Backup battery extremely low, please recharge. Oh, suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but... Add that hated human to your authorized list. There, now I will not attempt apprehension next time we meet. Have a pleasant journey, human. Oh, one more thing. Leave the power on when you exit, will you? I like leaving. Thanks. Alright. Have to remind myself not to turn off the key. Howdy. Can you smell that magnum steel? Never, never steel. Point is, we're almost out of here, pal. This journey is about to pay off big time thanks to you. See you up ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go unlock the EU GPS points up ahead. And then I'm actually need to do something. Two things that I need to show before I uh, get to the last fight. Oh, hold on. Hey, we don't know each other very well, but ever since I left Wild East, I've been pacing around in my head about your journey and everything surrounding it. Wherever you are, I fear your situation will grow dangerous, far more than it already has. By now, I assume you heard about the king. While well, each fallen human who has encountered him in the past hasn't survived. As skilled as you are, I don't believe you would either. I understand why you would want to confront him, but if me, I have my reservations as well. But perhaps it, it isn't the wisest path forward. I don't know what you should do, nor am I going to act like I currently have any influence over your destination. But your original plan, avenging the humans, escaping the underground, whatever it may be, it's impossible. I'm sorry, I warn you the best I can do, Seroba. Oh, Seroba's letter. Missing poster, hold on. Ah, it's the missing poster from the... Uh, that uh, Clover was holding. Okay. The missing five humans. Alright, now I'm gonna fast travel and do the thing that I forgot to do in the Steamworks. And the first thing is here. So, in this room there is actually something important. Uh, here. Something happened somewhere. Yeah, remember this door? 
The door I always said, oh, I wish the door was open. Actually, there is a hint over here, but like, there it is. Like, you, you need a little bit of uh, strength, of mind strength, of some creases in your brain to understand what is this. My brain is a little bit too smooth to understand that this is the big clock. This is the clock room. This is the big clock. This is showing that the white petals on the very corner, and on the corner there is a dot, with apparently is a button. You need some mind strength to understand that. Let me get some um, healing stuff. I don't have a lot. Okay. A beautiful flower made of solid gold. Unfortunately, stuck to the pedestal. Ah. Something seems to have once rested here. I don't think that is a... Uh, order. Something seems to have rested here. Yeah, that, that isn't an order. You just have to put the golden island seal. The door opens. And from inside, hops out a microfrogate. You notice microfrogates attacking you. Microfrog doesn't seem convinced. You may have been looking in the wrong direction. Out goes Microfrogate. In comes... What is that? Five. It smells like frog. It's a Macrofrogate! Frog. Frog. Macrocrow. Oh. As... Oh! What is this? This isn't time for for mathematics. Go away. Stop attacking me. Rogue. Rogue? What am I supposed to do? Macro ellipsis. Oh, oh my god, no, not this. Oh, I could just... Oh, never mind. The smoke, uh, the smoke hurts me. I did something. Frog? Macro kettle. I don't really know... Do I throw flies on you? Ow. Well, I touched the golden frog and I got hurt. The golden, the green frog. A big croak. Oh, they have crowns! Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh god! No! Okay. This is dangerous. Um... Oh god. Not like this. I got the frog. I don't have any healing items now that I think about it. i only going on a silver scarf. Uh, I know I have peanuts. They don't do anything. Frogs! Stop shooting me! No! Stop! Okay. Maybe I'm being dumb. I started to think that maybe it's not because... Maybe I, I'm, I'm dying not because the game is difficult. I'm dying because I'm dumb. Oh. Green frog. Oh. That was angry. Got it. Oh. Okay. Here's the fruitcake. 25 HP. Oh. I could... Oh, what is that? You look familiar. Oh god! <laughs> what was that? Stop running! Just fit. Oh! Pose. Alright. Oh god! Oh, that's not cool. Can I just be over here? I can't. Oh no, no, I can't. Ah! Oh, this attack's gonna take a while. Punch? Can I collect you? I can! There we go. Wow!
Hello. Who? What? Wait, ribbit. Oh god. What is that thing? <laughs> Mega croak. Oh, it's a chat. Ooh. I'm dead. I'm dead. The, the final. The final frog. Oh, God. Oh, God. Collection time. Uh, I can't move. Don't... Uh, well then. That just happened. You open a mysterious chest as an epic melody slowly crescendos in your head. In your head. He found a golden bandana. Take it? No, I don't want it. I went through all that just to stare at it. What do you think? Well, that's my golden items. With a shimmer, you tie the golden bandana around your neck. You feel like you can take on anything now. What does it even do? Hold on, I forgot to check. G bandana. Armor defense 12. The most stunning piece of fabric I've ever seen. That's about it. And there he is. I found him. So remember... On the pacifist run. If you watch the pacifist run. I said on the pacifist run that I looked all over the Steamworks again to see if there is anything else to show. Well, apparently I forgot to search this room because Axis also shows up in this room on the pacifist and he shows up with the robot wife. So yeah, and he has different dialogue on the pacifist, so that's a whole line of dialogue that I missed. Who goes there? It is not you because I got there. Ah, hello, hated human. Hope you are well with this fine evening. Yes, I had to scan you to remember. It is standard procedure after a recharge. Ah, the precious memories are flooding back. We almost murdered each other so many times. Lamau. What? That is a thing I say now. Sue's board taught me. It means let's make an omelette. If you forget. Say. Where does a bot find a hat like yours? I would rock a cap like that. Might turn some heads, you know. Uh, well, I suppose I never mentioned it, but... Wow, this is embarrassing. I can feel my face turning bright grey. You know what? Never mind. It is between me and my e-diary. <laughs> you have a diary? Have fun in the steamworks, human. If you plan to take a swim in the boiling lake, bring floaties. The lifeguard was recently promoted to a death guard. Tragic, Lamau. Okay, he just says Lamau over and over. He really wants some omelette. But yeah, that was Axis. I have here on the wiki the different things he says uh, on the pacifist. Hold on. Apparently, on the pacifist, Axis can function on love alone and doesn't need to recharge. The custom robot is named Day of Hit. No, the custom robot is named Matilda. It's not Daisy, okay? It's Matilda. Axis is already taken on having children. Okay, have good children with Matilda. It's not Daisy, okay? I got really, really offended with this entry. What, is, what are you doing? His name is Matilda. It, uh, their name, her name. The custom robot. Yeah. Don't you dare. There isn't really anything different from the pacifist. I just need to check one thing. What? 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 Oh, it's the same reaction that I had to the genocide. I didn't check this plant on the pacifist because it didn't make sense to check it. But Clover is having the same reaction I'm having from the genocide. You hear sounds coming from the plants. Same thing. Okay. What? <laughs> Hey, pal. Ha. 
What are you doing in this crypt alley? I think we both know this isn't the way to the castle. You do know that, right? Yeah, so let's turn around and get it on the right path. Well, get on with the plan. Um, can I even go to the elevator? I forgot to check. The elevator is in use. Ah, uh, okay, I can't. Clover, come on. It is about that letter receiving this thing works. It's gotta be a trap. You're seriously gonna fall for something so obvious. That bird never got you anywhere. You know who did? Me. Your best friend. How many times have I saved your life, hmm? Our model's done is put you in danger. Alright, fine. If this is what you think is worth your time, then I trust you. What else would a friend do after all? Just don't say I didn't warn you. Hey, Martlet. Little tweet. What do you want? This is the last time we were talking, by the way. Ah, you got my message. Of course I did. Priority may on the way I wouldn't leave me alone until I uh, read a thing. The large facility in front of us is the core. The main source of power for the underground. Behind that is new home, the capital city. King Asgore's castle. Look, I haven't been 100% honest with you. My whole life, I was thought that humans are the enemy. And maybe they were right. I've been trying my best to act nice, but... For a while now, I've sensed an alarming aura in you. I had this plan to stop your violence if needed. Is the blue... Is it dripping? I don't know. That is the blue serum. The soul serum with the blue soul, that is. I'm... I'm not sure if I should... I just can't do it. You're a good kid deep down, I'm sure of it. But truthfully, I can't allow you to visit Asgore. He only needs seven human souls to destroy the barrier. So far he's collected five, and I know he tried for another. He would fight back and, well... I'm not certain this is the right decision, but... Let's put all this behind us. End the conflict. You can come stay with me. Live out a happy, violence-free childhood. You've gone through so much, more than any child should. I believe you can change for the better. What do you say? So she's asking me to go back to Snowden with her. Live a normal life among monsters. That will not happen, but yeah, okay. Thank you, Clover. This is the best outcome for everyone. Well, roommates, let's go to Snowden. Oh! What is this? Clover? I should have known. Oh, she's... Bed. What the hell, dude? You gotta be kidding me. I just knew something like this would happen. And after all we've been through, I tried for so long. I tried to uphold a friendly persona, but wow. You really brought me to my limits. Though I gotta say, it did feel good to finally snap, you know. She never saw it coming. Last of all, she thought to betray her in the end. What an idiot. I bet she even... Nah. -uh. Trigger happy, aren't we? I think I forgot who's in charge here. We had a nice run, didn't we? Too bad I won't miss it. There is no Toriel to save me.
Mmm, I should have done this earlier. <laughs> oh. You're still holding on. So stubborn. Lighten up a little, pal. You do know this didn't have to happen, right? We had a plan, a simple one. Go to Asgore. But I guess you're just too weird to follow directions. Don't know why, I thought this would end any differently. You've always been predictable. Oh, what do I mean? Well, buddy, let me show you. You see, I've been watching you for a while. Gosh, what run is it? Gotta be in the hundreds. I've almost lost count. <laughs> Ah, uh, hello. Are you alright? You must be wondering what is going on. I am Toria, I'll carry, take it off the... I let you carry on your merry ways so many times. Oh, I'm moving. Go ahead and push the rock. You are learning so much, my child. Is I watch the same childish behavior play out over. And over. And over. Sure, the small decisions here and there would vary, but... The journey would always end with you ignorantly leaving with Toriel. I had to interfere. What's wrong with that? At first, my efforts seemed to work. Tensions rose and you left the ruins. But then, other issues crept up. I was trying to make Clover go through the original Undertale routes. No matter how many times you join journey on. What? He always died. What did me in over there? Then oh, that's me. Then he is on dying. Oh, oh, never mind. Nah. Oh god! I had to steer you off the path of failure as early as possible. So I tempered with a little switch and... Well, the rest is history. Oh, come on, you're still here. I thought at least my story might bore you so much that you give in. You really want to do this the hard way. Ha, huh, alright then. Let's have a little fun before I absorb yourself for good. What are you doing? Oh, I'm getting shaved. Do I flip? No, I just move. Now, remember what I taught you. Dodge the bullets. I'm dodging. I dodged. I have a hundred health. Are they coming back? Clover would like to cry, but they have no eyes. What? what? Excuse me? Your best friend! Oh god! Oh, circles! Oh, circles! That is a lot of damage. I don't have the Silver Scarf anymore. Fire 1 redacted. Uh... Weep? I... Reset, try again. Reset, try again. Reset, try again. Probably is giving... Fighting a try. 
Grover is giving fighting a try. Oh, I have to fight them. Grover is giving fighting a try. Okay. Grover would like to cry, but I have no eyes. I can't cry. Um, spare? Oh god. Oh, they keep multiplying. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 seven. Oh god. Oh, no. Don't me hurt it. What is wrong with you? Okay. I can heal. Uh, forget frown decay. Uh, forget. Missing. Well, <laughs> that makes sense. Missing. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Mm, you look confused. Story, I want to have taught you. <laughs> Missing. Let me use the cake. Oh, that's Dolph. Mega Dolph. One. Okay, same thing. Hides endure hope. Recover 30% of HP. Oh, I did. I actually did. Oh God. There is. Okay. Are those hands? They are. Flip. Oh god, I'm running. This is actually so cool. Oh! Oh, it's a maze. I don't like the mazes. No! I don't mind ma- Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that was so- I was trying to go up. Oh. The smell like- Okay. Okay, I think- in order for things to change, you're gonna have to survive one of these. Oh, not like that. I can't survive if I just do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is different. Missing. Oh, health 100%. And new attacks. Look at- Oh. Oh, they're homish. Oh. Oh, that's not great, you know. Can I heal? Okay. Not the new attacks. Coming out, coming out of nowhere. Stop. Mix back of attacks. Back to the big ruins. Press the button. I can't press the button. Oh. Oh, fast. Go fast. Not this way. Oh. No. No. Can I go forward? Thank you. Screen. <laughs> now, okay, usually, yeah, okay. I have no health, and I must do this maze thing. And I just stood down the corner because I got caught in the corner twice. Oh, the game lags. Oh. Wow, well, these. Oh, I can't see. Okay, now I can see again. Okay, this was the third one, and there's a brand new one now. Uh, what is this place? Pink room. This is new home. This is the lab. Are you sure I don't have anything making noise in the background?
Apparently I don't. Oh, I'm moving. Hello? Where am I? I feel like this is supposed to be a quiet moment, but I... I swear, I only have this game open right now. Oh, there we go. Mom? Dad? Anybody? Help me. Please, help me. No. Oh, so many of them. Nothing. Useless. Useless. All of it. Oh, okay. Hello? Could this be it? <laughs> it must be. I can go forward. Oh, never mind. I don't know what happened. Yes, it has to be. It must be. It must be. Have I done? Oh, okay. Snowden. Upper Snowden. I'm in the mountains. Am I? Oh no, I'm not. Clover? Clover! It is you! I can't believe it! Come here! I, uh, no, 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 no! Her face got hollow for a second. I was so scared. This place. It's Snowden, right? She looks like it. I haven't the slightest clue what's going on here. The last thing I remember was us talking on the rooftop. Oh yeah, we were going to my house. I don't quite know where it is from here, but we'll search together. I'm so happy I found you. So happy I found you. I found you. There we go. I found you. Run? No? Okay. You just... Puddle. It is just puddle. Get on? The only way forward. Oh, it's big. Hello. Howdy. Have fun with your friend back there. <laughs> Though you slipped away for a second, didn't you? You are quite a vigilant one. 
bet you could have outlasted Asgard if you wanted to reach him. Even though your choices in this timeline are useless to me now. I didn't outright hate our time together. Not at all, not all of it. Two lost souls deciding who lives or dies. Most of the time you were insufferable, but when you gave in. Gave in to your true violent urges. That was the best part. That's why I knew you had it in you to fight the king. But that was so long ago. Just look at you now. Barely recognizable. You know, some say yellow is the color of justice. Close, but that's not the word I, choo I would choose. Yellow is the color of judgment. Consequence. You would know, wouldn't you? Ah, you're right. Who cares about all that? Life's all about the thrill. How fun your experiences are. Our time here has been way better than any interaction out there. And I'm not looking for it to end any time soon. Of course, it can't last forever. After I overtake your soul, I'll kill Asgore. I'll absorb all those poor children you couldn't save. Then and only then, I will became, become God. But for now, this is only the beginning. So please, resist. Let's entertain each other a while longer. After all, in this world, it's kill or be killed. Are you gonna laugh? There we go. Can I move? I'm not moving. Oh, there you are. And... I can't go too far forward. This is my movement limit. Oh. Oh. Okay. I saw the attack and I went for it. What am I doing? Oh, he's looking at me. I can't really stare at Fly for too long. Otherwise, I'm just gonna die faster. Gone. Gone. Oh, big. I'm stuck. I'm stuck under the health bar. What was I doing? Oh god. Up. Don't make it too easy. Um. Oh, I'm supposed to be shooting. I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't notice I was upside down. I was more focused on the hands coming at me. Ah, okay. A dash? That one? Ah, claymation! Oh, that was lucky. Great! Oh, uh, paper crafts. Heal me. Okay, that's not a lot of healing. Uh, this one. This is. Uh, I don't know what style of work is this. It's just like television. Oh god. I don't know, like, I I get that each uh, of Flower's variations is a, an art style, but I don't know which one is this. I'll stop it. Stop blocking my attacks, I'm supposed to end this. I uh, want the red one. Uh, hang it. 
Ah, this is cartoons, more or less. Give me the red one. Yay. Oh god. Today we're studying the organs. Oh, biting of Isaac, I don't even know. Can you get this virus out of here? I want the striped one. And we're back to the felt one. Okay. The photorealistic felt puppet. Ow. I got buttons. And there we go. The attack is over. And now the last one, this nightmare looking thing. But I still don't know what it is, what is this thing? Ice PS1 style. Ah. Okay, so I don't have any more pedals to take care of. What happens now? I just get bombarded? I, I think now I just got bombarded. Is what seems to be happening. doing just give up i'm not doing flowers voice but uh, what i think is flowers voice what is wrong with you what is wrong with you what's wrong with me what's wrong with you you what what are you looking at What? Useless. Even now. All of it. Ha. Huh. I can't believe I thought this round might, end, might be it. It's no wonder to make a good team. You're a lot like me, in a way. Too stubborn to lie down, accept the situation. To determines. You're so annoying. I thought this would be fun, and I suppose it was. For a moment. But I'm over it now. I don't think either of us feel like fighting for all eternity, so... I'll cut you a deal. I'm going to reset, back to when you first arrived. Of course, you probably won't remember this. We can be pals all over again, reunited. If we end up in the same spot, I might try this again. But, if you can remember anything from right now, try to make different decisions next time. There is a better timeline out there for both of us. Not that I care about you, this outcome just sucks. It was all in my mind. No one could see it, it wasn't threatening lies. It doesn't come close to what I'm truly aiming for. When I reach that goal, you'll be there to witness it. I expect to go like the world's never seen. So, when we meet again in that dingy room, you're gonna help me get what I want. Like it or not, I decide your fate now. Ha! If only I could see your reaction to all this. I'm actually right here. You wanna see my reaction? Uh, hold on. Here we go. No, 
It could be this. Nah, I don't care. I'm worse than you, I don't care. I'm just here for the truth. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Your face would only look like it always did. That... He's not even kidding. <laughs> I only have one face. Oh. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll let you go. I do need a little time to practice my intro monologue, though. Feel free to page the cell before the big fall. See you later, Clover. Alright. And that was the neutral run. Mm. And everything that I could show. There is a, a few, not a lot, a few more... Oh, the mouse. Oh no, the mouse is on my OBS, never mind. There is a few more things, fun number related things that I could have shown. But a lot of them are like just backgrounds or interactable things. I wanted to focus more on the characters themselves. Except I see. I see it was just like, I don't know. I don't know, just I see. But yeah, you have the pillar, the caterpillar in, on the ruins. That is five variations for the caterpillar. You have uh, one with Shujin when you're doing the pacifist run, which means I wouldn't even be able to show in this video. You have an annoying dog somewhere that is also another pacifist. You have a poster which uh, shows the everyman. That is a character that shows up on the... Uh, when you're going for the true... Uh, he's one of the amalgamations attacks. It's not even a character. But yeah, that is an everyman uh, cameo on this game. And yeah, this is... The most I've got to show a lot of fun. I'm gonna save uh, full details of my final thoughts of the game. Now that I got uh, the three runs, I didn't get every ending. As I said in the beginning, there is one more ending if you do the pacifist run. And there is four variations for the Flowey fight, for his dialogue. If you fight Flowey on the neutral run four times, you get a variation of his dialogue. And one variation if you have the phone number. So yeah, you can go and uh, do it yourself or search for a video. I... I'm not gonna. I'm... I'm done. <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. Thank you for playing. Yeah, thank you for uh, doing this. This mess. Bless this mess. It was done. Thank you. Don't laugh at me. And the game closed. Okay. Okay. So while the team motive of the game is playing. What are my final, final, final thoughts of Undertale Yellow? I'm not gonna repeat what I said on the pacifists. I'm not gonna repeat what I said on the genocide. I'm literally gonna say what is now my experience with the game, now that I did the three runs. First of all, neutral run is the clover run. It is literally the Undertale experience that you're expected to get. But it's like you just go forward, interact with the characters, get to an ending. Of course, it's not the ending you expect. But it's very similar to how the normal game goes, the original game, where in the end you fight Flowey. Except that at this point, you would go back into the game, and then you would go in the side quests that would trigger the true pacifist ending. Which is what got me confused originally. The pacifist run of this game is the Seroba run. The game pretty much gets, gets overtaken by Seroba. I left a comment on the uh, Game Jolt page, like saying my uh, my thoughts on the game now that I finished the uh, 
the pacifists and the genocides. I didn't. I sh I I'm gonna read to that comment. But on the pacifists, when I got to the Sarava portion, like the Steamworks portion where Sarava is following you, I really thought, wow, I'm starting the side quest here. Like you know, because in the original game you do the the full game, you fight Flowey, then you if you're going for the pacifist run, you fight Flowey. And then reload the game, you have Undyne's letter asking you to go and check on uh, on Alphys. Now, Undyne asks you to deliver a letter to Alphys. You deliver the letter to Alphys, you have a dating with Alphys. This is, like, I'm, I'm saying this expecting you to uh, have already played the original Undertale. You have a date with Alphys, then you get a phone call from a virus or Alphys. You get a phone call from someone. And then you go to check on office, you go to the door in the lab that is on, is open, or is unlocked. It's an elevator you found on the lab, there's the, all the amalgamations in there. Office explains herself, and then you're good to go on the true pacifist ending. And so like, when Saraba kind of decided to follow me on the pacifist run of this game, I thought, wow, I'm doing the side quest now. And then you go to Saraba's house, like, instead of going to... Uh, like, instead of going to Hotlands and going for the king, the game just takes the detour and asks you, oh, go to Serva's house now. I'm like, okay, now this is the side quest. What was this whole thing with Serva if this is the side quest for the true pacifist ending? Like, um, when I first played the pacifist, I thought, I thought like, oh, okay, this is the pacifist run, whatever. And now that I'm playing this, I just think, Saraba just steals the pacifist run. She just takes it over. It is so, so weird. Because this is the true Undertale run. The run you're expecting to do from beginning to end. If you didn't play the original Undertale. Kind of hope... Kind of wished... At this point, I kind of wished it went in a similar route to the original Undertale, you know. You finish the game, or maybe just like you know, have the uh, King Asgore ending, and then you have the uh, Flowey ending, where you go and and check on, on Martlets on top of the building. And then after the Flowey ending, Flowey just goes like, oh, okay, reset the game and we try again. Like, the game forces you to go to King Asgore, the game forces you to go to Martlets, and then the game, you reset, and there is a weird variation for some reason, if you're going to the true pacifist. Where you receive a letter from Starlo, and then you go to the Wild East, and the events on Saraba's house happen, and you go and search for Saraba. I think that would be a better flow to the game. Because again, now that I play the, uh, the neutral ending, it does feel like the... Uh, the pacifist ending was kind of stolen by Saraba. And the genocide run is just a matter of balancing. Maybe I could have been easier if I found the golden bandana. But again, because you can get the golden bandana on the genocide run, but as soon as you're done with the ruins, you can't get it and you didn't get the golden, the golden pair. Well, you're not getting the bandana then. It just sucks to be you. And it's just two points of defense. I don't think it would be too much of a big difference. Maybe. But in the end, like, I can complain here and there. Like, I could, I would have changed this, I would have done this, I would have, like, messed with these numbers. But that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy the game. I have a policy of uh, doing, like, a one-hour trial of every game, like I record the first hour and then I go like, hmm, is it worth doing it again? Yes, is it worth doing it again? Okay, but then I record the second hour. And if at the end of the second hour, I don't consider making a third video, then I'm not finishing the game. And here I am finishing the game finally, which is, this is the longest game of the list. Like even if it is Undertale, if I didn't enjoy this game for any reason, I wouldn't even have commented on it. 
But the fact that I finished, even though I'm complaining, is what I'm trying to say. The fact that I finished it means that, in a way, I had fun and I enjoyed it. And I don't regret playing this game. Congratulations, I made a thing. Bless the smash. <laughs> but that's gonna be it. This is my final video for Undertale Yellow. Congratulations. And if the devs catch wins of that I did this game, and they just decide to watch this final video, but if they don't, um, just know that, well, I hope you have fun in your future, and success, and happiness, and whatever. I'm not very good at wishing things for people. Good luck. Good luck in your future. And I hope you have success in your endeavors. And goodbye. Goodbye. Just goodbye.